guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melody Bellina and I'm just going to be blow drying and straightening my hair so I can do a length check and trim my ends. Uh, so I already washed, deep conditioned, detangled, all the fun stuff. So I'm just going to section my hair off in fours for the most part. So I do have hair clips, my tangle teaser. I'm gonna moisturize and seal with the Camille, the Camille Rose Moisture Milk and Vitamin E Oil. And I'm gonna be using two different heat protectants. So, sis is prepared. I can't remember the last time I straightened my hair. I usually, um blow dry my hair for my protective styles but I don't flat iron. I think the last time I flat ironed my hair was mm, I don't know probably close to two years ago. So for each quarter section I'm gonna probably use like a dime size well a quarter size amount of leave-in and then like a dime size amount of oil. Because you know, I don't want my hair weight down too much, but I do want to moisturize. So, okay, it's this section, first section. Out. I am going to be using like a lot of products, so hopefully this isn't too much. I just know my hair reverts back very easily if I um, deprive it of moisture, so. This stuff smells so good. Just a little bit of this. Now, um I'm going to be using a little bit of bio silk while I blow dry and once I get done blow drying I'm going to add a little bit more bio silk and I'm going to spritz my hair with um, this two cheek flat iron styling mist by Giovanni. As you can tell um, this is a new product for me so I don't know how well it's going to do but I do have argan oil and Brazil, Brazilian keratin in it so well, it's just an issue heat protector, so. Decent amount of the bio silk. Because it really, I don't know. I can't remember last time I used Chi, but it's similar to the Chi um, silk infusion. Okay, so I'm going to split my hair, kind of like in the sections that I had already. And I'm going to do the tension method until it's about 80% dry. And then I'm going to actually use the comb attachment. So um won't be putting so much strain on my hair. Because so I don't want any like excess shedding or breakage or, or anything like that. Now, we'll go through it with my tangle teaser, just to make sure it's detangled, which it pretty much is, but, yeah. And I'm trying to lit, and I'm going to try to list down below where I can get my tools from, like for, um, 
I can't remember the name of this. I think it's called like Silver Bird or something like that. This is from Sally's, but I'll try to make sure I list like where I got my stuff from. Just in case y'all are wondering. And I'm gonna be using this on medium heat and um high blow power. I don't know. Medium heat, high intensity, I don't know. Or oh, whatever. Oh, medium heat, high blow power. Or high airflow. It's like 12 at night. We're just throwing it out there. Alright, let's get started. So that didn't take too long. Ooh. The first section. As you can see, I need a trim. So I'm just going to continue this process. Yep, so I'm ready to flat iron. I'm going to be using this one called Tool Science. I'm going to be using it on 360 degrees. And I don't know which tool I'm going to be using yet. Because I got this bristle brush chaser thingy. Got a rat tail comb. And I got my tangle teaser. So. I'm just gonna use whatever works. I'm gonna probably try all three though. I'm definitely gonna part with the rat tail. I'm doing pretty small sections and I already sprayed that um, heat protectant in my hair. I already sprayed that heat protectant in my hair before I did my cool shot with my blow dryer just so to give it um, time to actually dry. Yeah. Which one I use? This one has puts a lot of tension on your hair, so I'm gonna try to use it and see what happens. If I learn how to hold it, <laughs> struggle this real. This how you know I haven't flat ironed my hair in like forever. I'm gonna burn myself. Mm. I actually don't think it's hot enough. shouty so I'm going to just continue this 
process all over my head. I'm gonna try to keep it at 360 because it did get pretty straight. And I'm not trying to do no uh, silk wrap or anything crazy like that or no, you know. I don't need extremely, extremely bone straight. It's not that deep for me. So yeah, I will show when I get closer to the top so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm finally done flat ironing my hair. I didn't get it bone bone straight, but it's pretty straight. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to wrap my hair and go to sleep. And I will show you what my hair look like after I get my ends clipped because they need help. They need some milk. My ends look really bad. yeah so i will show you the final final result after i take my wrap down and get my ends clipped but so far i like it like i haven't seen my hair this flat to my head in so long like woo. why oh, you can't see it because of my computer Look at that pony. So yeah, see you in the morning. Woo, so I'm back, finally. My mom just got done cutting my hair. Woo. So this is what the back is looking like. It's pretty even. Um, took about this much off, which isn't a lot. So that's good, about one to one and a half inches, which is much needed. Even more can go. My hair is already reverting back, so that's fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You want to say bye to them? They can't see you on that side of the camera. <laughs> I got my hair cut and laid back because she actually cut my hair good this time. So now I can get regular trim. So thanks. You're welcome. So hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, bye. When I get on the new way,